transform your life. Good morning, good morning, radio family. Glad to be here. This is the day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I am excited about the season and the time that we are in. Shout out to all of you at Glory Bible Fellowship International Church, as well as our partners that make this broadcast available and to bless other individuals through your sowing of your seeds and for supporting the gospel. Well, we are here on September the 13th. We had a powerful 9-9 birthing service. Amen. We had a wonderful birthday celebration of um, our assistant pastor, Dr. Margaret Wright. It was fabulous. Um, she's still celebrating over this weekend. Amen. And then we came into the house of God on, on, on Sunday for the Grandparents Day service. It was phenomenal. It was a blessing. Those you can go out there on our GBFIC um, page or my page on Facebook and to see that service, um, the impartation that came was just fabulous and magnificent. Amen. I am a grandmother's girl. Amen. So, and I love to be around um, the elders. That's how I grew up. Well, we're in this time where we know that today is September the 13th. And so this is a very prophetic time. That was the word of God that God gave me um, in the month of September in reference to Amos 9, 13. And so many times he used me with those dates. And so right now we're here on September the 13th. And when we look at Amos 9, 13, I want us to see what God is, is saying and speaking to us. And I post that out there. So those of you that are in Facebook land and other social media that are listening, watching in, um, we are here and it is a divine release. So I want to come and impart into you and to prophesy and to build you up and to get you stirred up as to what God is doing. The, the month of September represents the number nine. It is the number of birthing. We came out of August with the number of new beginning. And so we get ready to cross over into October. And I was excited this morning. The father spoke to me and say, October is the month of overflow. My God, my God, October is the month of overflow. That's what the father spoke to me. Amen. This morning. So I was like, okay, I get it. I see where you're going. So here it is on this divine release. I want to release this into your life. Divine release today in your life. Amos 9.13. I'm reading from the Message Bible, right? Amen. And just so you can understand the season and everything that we're in, we are in a divine timing on God's calendar, the biblical calendar. There are two calendars. You know, we have the Gregorian calendar. We know that, that you know, in January, February, March. But right now is a time in the starting of what God is getting ready to do. This is how the children of Israel, you know, you are grafted in. So we can, we, that's the reason why one of the anointings at GBFIC is to get people connected to the Jewishness of Jesus, to get you to understand how and why you are a seed of Abraham. You can walk in the fullness of your blessings, right? So we get excited at Glory Bible Fellowship because we have a Messianic pastor, Jewish born, right? And so, but we're grafted in. He, all, he says that I'm more Jewish than him. And so we must recognize, and Bishop is going to, I want to thank God, Bishop is going to be coming out with his, uh, the Jewishness of Jesus. He's going to get that done within the, um, the latter fall, fall, winter. We'll need to get that in. I'm excited. Um, those of you who go out there on Facebook for Manifest by Faith, we will be in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, so it's going to be a fabulous time and season that we're in. So we go over to, eight, eight, uh, go over to Amos 9.13. I want you to be, have expectation today, not tomorrow, but right now, today, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, those out there, my text land buddies that are texting me. So let me go over here. Matter of fact, because I need to utilize um, all this technology. So I'm going to be over here. So remember, say this with me, divine release today in my life. So what I'm coming by to do is to do a divine release in your life, but you need to take it and say, in my life. So Amos 9, 13 starts off and says, yes, indeed, it won't be long now. God's decree, right there, God's decree. You got to understand when God decreed thing, when the king's decree that was, it was settled. 
That's the reason why when Esther, when the decree went forth, and the, the even though the king was tricked um, into doing to sign and put the decree forth, he couldn't come back off of it. So what the children of Israel, Esther had to do, they had to come in another way. That's when they came in with fast and she was able to go in and tell because it was a decree. So we would get that the book of Joel said, thou shalt decree a thing and so shall it be. So we, this is a decree. Things are going to happen so fast, your head will swim. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. My God. That means there's a song that I like called Blessings Upon Blessings Upon Blessings, right? That means you say you're not going to be able to keep up. It's going to make, instead of your head swimming from anxiety, instead of your head swimming about out from confusion, say God says what? His word says is swim one thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. That means I like to say God is a God of both uh, God of both and, right? And both. that means God is more. He's going to be doing. So how about you want to be so blessed that you just say, God, I can't take it no more. I'm decreeing that in your life that today you will receive multiple blessings, amen, multiple turnarounds. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Everywhere you look, blessings like wine being poured out on the mountains and healed. When we, when, you know, we look at, don't, don't some of us don't try to be a lurch head. The, oh, we get to think, oh, they're talking about wine. But the wine in that day was not like the wine that we have today. Okay, study your Bible. Study scripture in light of culture. Amen. It's not that does not give you a life. So prophetically, I'm giving you a prophetic word. That means the riches, the blessing of, of God. When we see, we talk about wine, you hear him talk about the porn and all of those things, right? There's a prophetic message there. It says, blessings, wine pouring off of the mountains and the hills. I'll make everything right again for my people. And it says Israel because it's a logos word. So because you're grafted in, right? You're part of Zion, right? You need to put that like I did. I've been confessing this again for my servant, prophets, Adrian Blackstock. They'll rebuild their ruined cities. They'll plant vineyards and drink good wine. They'll work their gardens and eat fresh vegetables. And I'll plant them. I'll plant them on their own land, circle your own land, right? Those of you that, here's a word that you can lay on. You believe in God for your own property, right? A, ho a house sits on land. Hallelujah. So you can't think about it. You can't buy the house without the land. So he says, sit on your own land. I've given them. God, your God said so. That's in us because, you know, you remember your mother used to say, because I said so? But how about, and you know that stuck when mama said, I said so, or grandmama said, I said so. God is saying, what? Said so. I said so. So this is what God is speaking in our lives. This scripture has so much revelation, so many blessings, so much propheticness that's in there that we all can partake. But on today, on September the 13th, God is speaking this divine release in your life that there will be blessings upon blessings upon blessings. However, what are you believing? Some of you, the, the house is going to come in. The car is going to come in. You know, the breakthrough you believe before is going to come in. You're going to walk in a grocery store, you're going to get blessed. You're going to walk to the gas station, you're going to get blessed. You're going to get blessed on, on your job. Amen. Things are going to turn around. That's going to make your turn around anointing is going to take place for you on today. Be expecting. Some of you going to the doctors or whatever. Be expecting a good Report in the name of Jesus Christ. Your healing to manifest. You've been believing God for it. your healing to manifest. Your deliverance to manifest. The blessings of the Lord make you rich and it addeth no sorrow in the name of Jesus. So here we talk about that they will rebuild the ruined city. That God is using, you know, even in the spirit realm, our prayer life, that you're doing some, you're some rebuilding in the name of Jesus. You, you're, um, you're, you're giving in the name of Jesus, your evangelism. That is what going out the street evangelism. Amen. That's that, that's how being kingdom minded. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I'm just getting so excited because of the season that God is in. Uh, when we talk about the, the feast of the Lord, those three feasts, we had Passover, we had the um, um, Pentecost, but most people miss this here because you can't track with it with with the resurrection time, which most people call Easter. And then we all know about Pentecost, about the upper room, but we, we overlook the Feast of Tabernacles. So we're getting ready to come 
enter that time. Amen. So we get excited at Glory Bible Fellowship International Church about the time that we come in. So uh, we have uh, a count. I know we may, maybe need to get this post out there on our Facebook page. So if Deacon is Kiara, if you're listening, I want, this is a, see, here's the thing about West, about Westerners. We don't, we don't think longevity. That's the reason why other countries, uh, when you see them pop out at us, they've been preparing, believing for years, a hundred years, because they, they look, they, um, focus, focus is in decades and even, even some as centuries, right? Uh, one of the reasons why my business, Nikan Business, is a, is a Japan company. One of the most, Japan is one of the most country, uh, one of the most healthiest country in the world. I was amazed when I started with this um, company, and that's what made me stick with it. Because I'm like, well, if they got a 100 year vision plan, then and it's dealing with health, healthy nutrition, whole food. That's something I want to be a part of. Because I plan on want to live what if Lord, so be the Lord will. If I want to live to 100, here's a company that has a plan that they're going to produce technology and they're going to produce um, healthy nutrients for long life. And it, it, that was 100 years. Most of us just live, you know, yes, we live day by day, but I have to say, write your plan, work your plan. So this eight year calendar that we put back out in 2018, look at this. When Bishop put this out in 2018 with all the feasts, right? I laid out here and all the biblical um, seasons on God's calendar. We're on year 22, 2022, when we started with this in 2018. So when we look at Rosh Hashanah, will be September 26th through the 27th. We have Yom Kippur, which will be October um, the 5th. That's the Day of Atonement. It is the most solemn holy day. You should. Now, we, we all should be striving to be holy as God is holy, right? But here's a day that you can really just take off on October the 5th. And just say, you know what? I want to get a closer walk with the Lord. I want to, you know, pursue something. I'm excited about this because Yom Kippur actually falls on October the 5th. Bishop does a special teaching. Those of you, come out and join us. Amen. Glory be to God. And some of you pastors need to bring Bishop in so he can expound on this uh, for your congregations. Amen. And then we have Sukkot, which is October the 10th through the 11th. Now, what we do, we have, it's the Feast of Tabernacles. It's called the booth. Amen. It's the harvest festival of Thanksgiving. This is like the largest harvest. This is harvest time. You're going to be bringing in. Then I'm going to go over here and give the scripture to match this right here. So this is a deal. This is all the season we in. So all the way up until October. Then this begins our new year. Do not wait until January for you to begin your new year. Don't wait to January because you're behind God. Is it any wonder why all these New Year's resolutions don't work out? Because you're not doing it with God, right? And so unless you're really disciplined or what have you, or what have I tell you not to do that. But what I'm telling you, be mindful that don't be three months behind where God is. This is his season. Well, in my early days, when God first started speaking to me about the feast of or what have you, he said, he said to me, Adrian, if there was, he's seated on the throne, if there was ever a time that I would get up off my throne, that these are the three times I would do it, right? Because he's given us dominion, power, and authority and all of that. But these are the times that he would do it, which would be the feast of ta- doing the feast of the Lord. They're not the feast of the Jews, right? They're co- the feast of the Lord. There is so much power and blessings that are part of when we come before the Lord, not empty-handed. So we're ready to get excited at GBFIC. We're going to your feast. See, those of you that may be at churches, and you, they don't have this anointing. We're not trying to take you from your church, but this is fertile ground. The word of God speaks of this in Deuteronomy 60 to the place that I have chosen, right? So that see, he, 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 he listens out there over seven to eight blessings, what God is going to do when you come before him, not empty handed and come to the place to sow your feast, see how he's going to manifest in your life. So as I was doing this here and, and, and studying, um, hey man, the Lord told me to go over here. I went and looked at another um, translation. It's the C-E-V-D-C-I. Hey man, I'm not going to try to go back up because I'm going to leave my spot. And when I looked at that, I just chose that out of all the ones besides the, it says, you will have such a harvest. Let me stop right there. What did I say about the harvest? The Feast of Tabernacles, the Sukkot. The Sukkot is the Feast of Tabernacles, the booths. 
of a harvest festival of Thanksgiving. And here it is. I'm speaking to you on 913 where the father has spoken and said the divine release in your life about blessings upon blessings. Right. And then here this ties in. And says you will have such a harvest that you won't be able to bring in all your wheat before plowing time. You will have grapes left over from season to season. Do you guys understand that? He said from season to season. That's the reason why we move through the Feast of Tabernacle. Those are seasons that we're moving through, right? The, and the reason why the Feast of Tabernacle um, harvest and that seed is so important because we don't come cross over, we don't come back until the spring. So it is, the, so you should be already saying, Father, you know, put seed in my hand. Father, what is it you're believing for the, to, for the Father to do for you? Amen. And because he says that from season to season, your fruitful vineyards will cover the mountains. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It is going to be such a rich time that we're in. Right now, as a prophet of God, I've always can sense the high angelic activity that is taking place, right? That means you have more angels. Like I have an angel, right? I have people that tell me, especially even when I'm ministering, there's certain other type of angels that come on the scene, but we all have an angel. And then those of us that stand off, you got some extra angel. But right now, those of us that tap in and understand what God is doing in this season, because when he says, I'm going to tabernacle with you, listen, I, I don't got so, um, I call myself, it was a little warm. This morning, I'm going to have to uh, I put on the heat and I'm already in the heat already. Amen. I can feel the power. I can feel um, the power of God. So I need to turn off my um, heat that I put on this morning. Glory. So that um, I don't burn up here. Hallelujah. I feel the fire of God and what is transpiring, taking place. Amen. So we want to be in position. Are y'all tracking with me? Glory be to God. Are you tracking with me? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So I want you to be in position for what the Father is doing. So Sister Amanda says, okay, she said glory. She's track, She's tracking with me. I don't want you to miss this, right? I don't want you to miss the season that we're in. Because so many times we don't understand that God is forever moving. And so we think that we can. And when you miss that season, you miss that season. So like right now I had been saying, like, I said, oh, I say, I say, Fall is on its way. So you see the temperature already done changed. You know, we had, I don't for me, it almost feel like we had a long summer. So when that season goes, it goes. I don't care how much you, you wishing that you had um, um, spring. Spring is done. Amen. How do we do the name of God? When winter time come, you expect and you hope and you're like, oh, I can't wait for spring to come. I can't wait for spring to come. So with God, we cannot miss a time in this season. Hallelujah. So I want you today that this divine release, go put your eye gate on it. Go and start ex expecting. Say what the word of God said. Blessed upon blessing. You know, I haven't left out the house yet, but when I leave out the house, amen, even before then, I'm all ready for 913. Even some of my appointments that I have today, they already got set up. I knew when, the, when it was some of the appointments on 913, I already knew that it was going to take blessings to come forth. I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus that your telephone going to ring and there's going to be a blessing. That people in, you know, people in the, that you don't even know are going to come up to you and bless you. Why? Because you are a child of the Most High God. Now, if you're not a child of the Most High God, then you need to get that right. You need to say, Lord, forgive me of my sins in the name of Jesus. I have sinned against you. Come into my heart and live your life through me. Stop being a part of the culture. Stop being a part of the world in the name of Jesus. Listen, the world is going to go away. It's not going to be here. Only the kingdom is going to stand. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So let's get, if, if nothing else, the most, the biggest blessing is for you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And then you don't stop allowing the devil to ride your back. You don't have to take no blessings. All these entertainers and all these movie stars and all this stuff go out there. They go out there and sell their soul. They just, just all of that craziness. And in the end, after the devil done use them, beat them up, spit them out, they come dragging their look. And some of them, some of you may not have the opportunity to get back to God. So stop playing, I hear that. Stop playing Russian roulette with your life. Stop playing Russian roulette with your blessing. Just come on over on the lower side. 
hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So you got these, the God got that, the blessings of the Lord. It said, what? Well, make of you rich and it adds no sorrow in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When we also go over here, um, we're talking about these blessings. I'm looking at, I'm trying to make sure I'm moving fast, looking at my time. Hallelujah. Let's go over to Psalms 1. This is as always, I tell people this all the time that why is it, um, let me change over. I want to go look at it in the NLT. Uh, let's look, let's look at it in NLT. Let's go to Psalms 1. Amen. Glory. You guys bear with me. Actually, I'm going to go over and look at it in the easy version. Sometimes we need to um, switch. I want to see what it says over there. Amen. Glory. So when we look at Psalms 1, it says, if someone does not do what wicked people tell him to do, if he does not join with sinners, if he does not meet with those who laugh at God, uh-oh, God has blessed that person. Woo! Stop making, I, I didn't say it. It's in the word. I'm going to read that again. Amen. If someone does not do what wicked people tell him to do, if he does not join with sinners, if he does not meet with those who laugh at God, God has blessed that person. In our discussion, that's me. Proud about it. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You need to be too. He is happy when he obeys the law of the Lord. He thinks about God's laws during the day and night. Don't you? I love the song I say, when I woke up this morning, I had my mind on Jesus. Stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. When you woke up, when you wake up in the morning, that's why I'm not wake up in the morning. I'm saying this is the day the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. So day and night, though, and, and even in the scripture said that we supposed to meditate on the word, but day and night, he will become like a tree that grows beside the streams of water. I love, I don't have enough time now to the perfectness of, of God speaking about trees. Amen. And it gives its fruit at the right season. When I talk about, about season after season, it says in the right season, its leaves do not fall off. Hallelujah. That's what God has said. You should be always producing. You're going to be it. Well, God, so what season we're in? Winter, when winter come up, you're going to still be producing. You're going to still have. You're going to still be blessed. Amen. I, when winter come, I already decree that my winter should be like spring in the name of Jesus. Why? Because there's a scripture in the word of God that states that. So I lay hold of, remember, thou shalt decree a thing and so shall it be. Stop decreeing what your circumstances is. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Call forth those things that be not as though they are. This is the day the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. Everywhere I go, I shall receive blessings in the name of Jesus. I'm the head and not the tail. I live above and not believe. We be saying that Jesus said, I'm happy, healthy, and I'm fit and trim. Hallelujah. I'm wealthy. I'm a mega billionaire. Call for my children are blessed. The fruit of my womb is blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It says, at least do not fall off. Everything that person does will have a good result. But wicked people are as empty as shaft. The wind blows them away. So they will not go free when God judges them. Sinners cannot join with God's people. The people who are right with God. That you, you're supposed to be right with God. Sinner, you, we're supposed to lead the sinner man, right? Jesus ain't going to hang around with sinners just so he can hang around with them. Amen. He was there to transform their lives. Hallelujah. I'm not hanging out in the light. If I go to a nightclub, I'm going, if I was to go into, God told me to go to a nightclub, surely prophets, Asian blacks are not going to a nightclub to be drinking, not going to a nightclub to fit in with them. I will be there to lead those to Jesus Christ. I'm not going to fit in with them. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So they will not go free when God judges them. Sinners cannot join with God's people, the people who are right with God. The Lord takes care of people who respect him. Hallelujah. Do you respect God? But wicked people are living in a way that will take them to a bad end. I didn't say it. God said it. So you get in right standing with God so you do not miss what God is doing during this time. And remember, 
you go out there, go out there. Well, the Father told me October is the month of overflow. Hallelujah. I begin to shout. There's a song I didn't get a chance to go to it by Sanaz that talks about the overflow. Matter of fact, I don't know if Debbie D can find that song and close out with it or not, but I know I'm going to be listening to it today. Hallelujah. So I thank all of you. Join us at GBFIC um, during this season. Look out there. We'll have our Feast of Tabernacle where we just come up under the tent. We have a fabulous time. We, get your seed in your hand. We'll have that out there. Sow your seed, your best seed ever. Amen for the Feast of Tabernacle. Hallelujah. Look at Exodus 23, starting at verse 14. All of the blessings. Don't nobody got to tell you, say, do what God told you to do and you will get the result. What are you believing for? Hallelujah. So whatever the devil is trying to do, ain't nobody stunting the devil. Let your seed speak for you. Hallelujah. You're going to get an angel. He said he's going to make your enemies scatter and run. Hallelujah. So that's why I'm excited. I may put my seed in early for some of my fun and screens. Glory. So I can just pimp slap the devil in the name of Jesus. So we thank you for joining us. And I only got 10 seconds left. And remember, Jesus is Lord. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, feel free to partner with us by sowing a seed at gbfic.org or mailing a check to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri, 64064. If you need special prayer of any kind, please feel free to call us at 816-795-1900.